Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. The Topeka Zoo's largest habitat ever is days away from its grand opening. You'll be able to visit Giraffe and Friends this Friday. Keepers Rachel McNamee and Dalton Wiggins are here with a sneak peek of what's in store. And they've been smiling every time they bring this <laughs> up because you, how excited are you two for this? Very excited. Yeah, yeah. definitely very, very excited for mm -hmm. it. Rachel, what is the headline for you on this new exhibit? So we get to see a lot of new improvements from our old barn to this new barn. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different substrates, a lot of cool tamers and transfer shoots that we have. So it's a whole new look for these giraffes and for the public to see. Um, it gives us great opportunities to train these giraffes to better their welfare in the long term. And Dalton, we know that the giraffes kind of took a little stroll over there mm -hmm. last fall already. How much have they been able to even explore this environment yet? So with the new barn, they've explored a lot inside, but not a lot outside because they've had to deal with um, adjusting to the inside of their new barn, um, whereas before they could go in and out. They kind of are just focused on inside right now, and then hopefully when the weather gets warmer, they'll be outside. So they're pretty excited for the forecast to improve as well. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we were over there today and we're able to get some video of some of the features. So as we go through them, Rachel, this is obviously kind of an entrance that we're seeing, but what is that huge building and, and what are we seeing here? Yeah, so this is the indoor giraffe barn here. That's Liz that you can see. The our, baby. She's yeah, so the cute. baby giraffe that we have. Um, she's in our day room set up right now, which is just the large space that they all can be in. There's Sarge. He's eating in the stall area. So we have four stalls in the back and that day room in the front, and they all kind of change out throughout And that's a special other. surface, right? Yes, yeah, so that's decomposed granite. So it's a uh, specially made substrate for trimming hooves, basically, while they walk. So it really helps us with their hoof care. And some, Dalton, some educational exhibits are in there, too. We saw the big giant. Is that, like, yes. supposed to represent how big a giraffe Absolutely. is? Absolutely, yes. It will represent each of the different types of giraffes. So you'll have a male, a female, and a baby. And it'll represent all of the different heights for them. Um, the male, most people can actually walk right underneath. So it's going to be really cool. <laughs> and what's really cool are these viewing areas that we're seeing because there's, do I understand correctly, an upper and a lower level? What kind of different perspectives will that give people? Yeah, this new one, we do have an upper level where you can be eye to eye with a giraffe, which is definitely something new from our old one. We have an outdoor feeding platform and an indoor. So either way, you'll be able to see them at all different perspectives. And this is more than just giraffes, right, Dalton? What else Absolutely. is going to be part of this area? Yes, so we call this the Giraffe and Friends. It's going to also have ostriches, kudu, bontebok, and Thompson's gazelles, as well as the crowned cranes that were in the old giraffe yard. And what kind of environments will they be in? They will be all mixed in with the giraffes. So they are all going to be in the same yard together, kind of cohabitating as they would in the wild. But we hear a lot about uh, in, in the wild, not just in Africa, but really anywhere, that there mm -hmm. are predators. <laughs> so Absolutely. we're not putting those kinds of animals no, together. No, definitely not those. OK, thank goodness. <laughs> How much does it add to the, the experience, do you think? And, and is it going to change anything for all of you in working with the animals when they are actually all together like that? A little bit, yeah. So we're going to have to do introductions for all these animals coming in together. So the giraffes are going to see the new hoofstock. The hoofstock are going to meet each other. And we're going to all combine them at once. So it's going to be a very slow process to kind of bring them all together but I think it will really improve just natural behaviors for everyone. Does this mean everyone's going to be together all at once on Friday or is there going to be kind of a gradual rollout of how people are going to be viewing this? There's going to be kind of a gradual rollout of how people are going to be viewing it. Um, so we're still going to be working animals into the yard. So you're mo mostly going to see giraffes, you know, inside. And then you may see a few of the new friends outside, um, but we'll be working them in as we go. So what time should people come on Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Nine o'clock on Friday, um, and we should be open out throughout throughout the whole day. Um, it's just going to be indoor viewing at that time, but you're going to be able to see all the giraffes there. You're hoping for good weather, though, regardless, right? So yes. how soon before you can let the giraffes out? How nice does it have to be, or is it just gonna, is it a day-to-day -day decision based on the weather? Um, we want it to be consistently warm throughout the week. That way, they have the option to go inside and out. So usually about 45 is a good temperature for them, So and a nice solid ground, no mud or rain or anything like that. So Jeremy, come on. Mm. We want the giraffes to get outside and explore Definitely. their new home. <laughs> Rachel and Dalton, thank you so much for being here. You're invited to the Topeka Zoo Friday is the grand opening for Giraffe and Friends. We've been waiting a long time for mm -hmm. this to make its big debut. Thanks for being with us Monday at the 4 no Eye on Northeast Kansas. Stay tuned. iCrime's coming your way next, and we're back in a half hour with Live at 5. See you then.